Hey guys, it's Sean here, and uh, today we're gonna be doing something I haven't done in a while. I know it's been a while since I've done any videos, but I definitely want to get back to doing videos. Uh, one thing I want to say before we get on to this video is record is record as a uh, regarding the Retro Storm Capture series. The reason why I haven't released an episode since I did the announcement video is because I didn't have everything that I needed to make the videos. And when I recorded gameplay for an episode, but the problem is when I was doing the Audacity program over the gameplay, because for me it's easier to talk over gameplay that I already did than playing than playing while talking. So the reason why I haven't released an episode, yeah, is because I didn't have proper headset. And the problem with that is because when I'm talking over the gameplay, I also need to hear the audio of the gameplay. So I can comment on that. Properly. So... You know, now that I have the headset, I can record Audacity and play the game at the same time. That's true, but, it, but that, <laughs> as I told you before, I can't really do that with the retro with the virtual capture series because I need to be talking over the gameplay that I already recorded so that not only can I perform well in the game and I can actually give you quality gameplay but I can also give you clear audio which was a problem but I've worked around that so hopefully spring break's coming up so hopefully I can get like two or you know one or two episodes out but uh, let's move on to the main video uh, I ordered the game. I already took it out. And this game has great memories for me. It's a Nintendo 64 game. And it's by far one of my favorite games. To ever be released on a console. It's a bit pricey. And you understand why it's a bit pricey in a bit. You'll know what game I'm talking about. And you'll understand why it was pricey. Um, but. It was one of the first games, no, nay, it was the first game I had ever seen playing on a Nintendo 64. So, it definitely has a lot of great sentimental value to me. So, um, it is... Nin uh, Super Mario, Nint Super Mario 64 for Nintendo 64. So, uh, yeah. I'm uh, really excited to do an episode. A director of Stone Captures on this game, but for now, I am going to um, leave you guys off with some gameplay with a little bit of commentary. Uh, see you there. Hey guys, it's uh, me again, and uh, let's check out some Sid Meier 64. Um, one thing I will say about this game is one of the first memories I have of this game was I was visiting I was visiting my grandma in Puerto Rico and this was around I think the the weird thing with the Nintendo 64 is I think they released if I'm not mistaken they released the games and they released the the controllers a few months before the console even launched so I have fond memories of reading the manual because my older brothers uh they had gotten Mortal Kombat trilogy and this game way before we even had the console. So at the time they had a Sega Saturn so they really couldn't do it. I just remember going into their room as a kid and just seeing the box the cartridges scaring the boxes for the longest time just reading the manuals and I just remember that being one of the coolest experiences because, you know, just being able to look at the games. And I had always wondered as a kid because I didn't comprehend that we didn't actually have the machine yet. So I had always wondered why they weren't playing these new games instead of that. And, you know, Super Mario 64, you know, I'm not even going to go to the main boss right now. I'm just going to kind of explore right now. Uh, because it's one of the great things about uh, Mario 64 is the fact that there's just 
so much to do in this game, honestly. Uh, I remember this was the first game that they put into the system, and I just remember being blown away. Like it's like I remember feeling the same way when the Dreamcast came out. But you know, this was the first time that I had seen anything like that. Because, you know, at the time, you know, I, I had seen 3D games. I'd seen the Sega Saturn, you know. I'd seen Virtual Fighter. And, you know, as much as I loved the uh, Virtual Fighter, just looking at a game like this, just, you know, kind of blew my mind. You know, you know in this video, I'm not going to go too in-depth with my experiences with this game or anything about that, you know, because this is really just a showcase, and, you know, I'm really just, you know, I'm going to wait, you can definitely expect an episode of, uh, for this game on the retro, on the retro, um, capture, retro storm capture series, uh, the reason why I haven't been doing that yet is because I am in college, I don't have a lot of time. Right now, hopefully in a few months I can release the first episode. Or hell, spring break's coming up, so I'll, honestly, I'm probably going to release it around that time. Uh, this will not be the first game that I look at. Uh, the first game that I'm definitely gonna look at is, um, you know, I'll just leave that for a surprise. You know, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy this boss fight. Hopefully, I don't make an ass of myself. <laughs> 